hello guys and uh, welcome to another video so uh, in this video i want to talk about a very frequently requested topic which is a uh, retopology so uh, yeah and uh, for the process i'll be using this uh, old scope of mine i think i did this sometimes last year so uh yeah to begin with topology currently i want to retopologize the character because the Shirt, the clothing is already they actually moving, so they don't need a wire. So, if I show you the wireframe of this and let me turn off the texture, let's just show the object. You can see that okay, the, top, the topology of the clothes is actually alright, topology of the eyes and the topology of the eyebrows are alright. So, currently, what I need to fix is the topology of the character itself, which is this, and also the topology of the hair. So, uh in a previous video, I actually uh, showed that you can use a uh, actually uh, showed that you can use a uh, blender quad remesh and a uh, quad flow remesh to uh, remesh a character. So I would add a link to the video in it and uh, this, so you can go check it out in case you haven't seen it. So uh, I would use that particular method for the air because um, the air does not really, won't really deform while uh, animating in case of animation but for the character itself I will use uh, I'll do that manually and I will show you the method which I use to approach and approach in this video so uh, yeah let's get started I'll turn this wireframe let me reduce the opacity yeah I'll turn this wireframe off for now so we can see our mesh clearer and I would hide the set and also for now I would hide the air and the brows so I can work with the character itself so uh yeah to get started there are a few add-ons i usually make sure i usually make use of and yeah let me show you that right now if you go to the edits if you go to the edits preferences and uh, yeah you can see the list of add-ons in blender so this first one is an uh, f2 yeah make sure this uh, add-on is enabled and you understand why uh, soon enough and the second add-on is extra yeah, this is not really necessary, but yeah, I very really like using this. This add mesh extra object. So if this add mesh extra object is activated and you want to add a new object, and you press it to add in a new object, you will notice this extra option, this single bar. Yeah, and most times if I'm starting with the topology uh, process, I usually work with single bar. Alternatively, some people just add in a plane, going to edit mode, merge everything at center, to get one single bar axis, and that's very same to do. But yeah. Why adding in the plane and joining is when you could just add in a single bat directly. So adding mesh, single bat, and adding a single bat. Yeah, next thing I do is make sure this is turned on snap and it's set to face project. Also, I would enable rotation and scale. And yeah, I think for now that would be all, but I would still use a modifier as down. So now that uh, this snapping option is enabled, if I go to wireframe mode, I can see that my vertex is still at the center here. But if I click, uh, if I press G to move, let me show you what If I press G to move, it will snap to wherever my cursor is. So you can notice my vertex, my vertex is moving alongside my 3D cursor. So for now, I will just place it somewhere around here. And also, it snaps to the surface because it is set to face project. It snaps to the surface of anything. But if I place it on the eyelashes, it will snap to the eyelashes. So, also, I would hide the eyelashes because for now, I don't need it. And it might be kind of difficult selecting this part currently because it's just a single point. Yeah, that's it. So, add in the mirror and select this head as the mirror object. Okay, no, for now, I won't select anything. Because I added the mesh right at the center of the wall thing to mirror directly from the center. So uh, yeah, for now that's what. So now I'm just going to edit mode and extrude. So I'll extrude this one out. Actually, usually it's uh, advisable to take note of the amount of time you extrude well, uh, when when uh, you topologizing anything. Because for now I want to have equal amount of vertices at the upper side and at the lower side of the eyes. So this is. This one is at the center here, so I have one, two, three, four, and then back to the center. So if you see, there's a straight line from it here. So I also want to have the same amount below. So that is one, two, 
three and once I reach here, I'll just select this to press F. So fill in that uh, edge in that position there. So I think I'll just move some of this a little bit further so they won't intersect the eyes. Yeah. So it's not perfect for now, but yeah, eventually when we add, when we add in a smaller modifier to fix some of this. So uh, I want to create another loop around the eyes again. So I'll extrude, just select any point with this or this, just select any point and extrude it. And then now a quick way of extruding is by holding down control and right clicking. So if I just do that, right click on where I want it to snap and go all the way around, around the eyes. And once I get here, I'll select this and press F. So now to fill in faces in Blender, if you're using Blender for a while, you, that you select four vertex and yeah, so that's the issue. So now to fill in all these faces around here, to select four vertex and keep pressing F, three and three is a bit slow. So that's where the F2 add on comes in. So you select two vertex here, like along this uh, loop here, and press F once to create a face automatically. So if you keep pressing F it would create a place and fill out that uh, region there so yeah so uh, there are some rules in retopology if you watch uh, some other retopology videos if you are retopologizing a character for animation it's necessary to have some loops in some particular areas one that goes around the eyes one that goes around the mouth one that goes around the nostrils and one that goes all the way around the nose and the all the way to the jaw side so for the year there's no specific thing just make sure you have a clean topology and all so yeah i will then continue the process now so the next thing i want to do is adding is subdivision where i just make everything a bit rounded subdivision yeah now it's just putting out all these jagged edges we have and yeah one more important modifier i also work with is the shrink wrap modifier so add the modifier and add in shrink wrap so for now it does not do anything because i've not selected the object with uh, snap to here. So if I select this and click on this object, the yeah, the retopologized object will snap to the initial object automatically. So if you go into this mode, yeah, you can see that the vertex, the vertex are not actually matching what's here. That's because this is only active in a, this is in cage mode, it's not an activated yet. So if you turn this on for mirror, you notice the mirror is uh, working in both sides, but if it's turned off, you don't see the vertex here. So if I'll turn this off for mirror, turn it on for subdivision surface, and uh, turn it on for snapping. Yeah, so now you notice your... Now, basically what this uh, shrink wrap does is to... Let me try and explain for that. Let me, let me turn this off and turn off this. So for example, if I should extrude this this way, it's currently not snapping with the object because snap is turned off. But once I enable shrink wrap, automatically snap to the closest object so i'll delete that because i don't need this one and then move my snapping back yeah so that's the first loop around the eyes uh, i usually like creating multiple like two at least so i'll create another one that goes all the way so because of the subdivision if i can't it kind of uh, round it up as i as i go okay so I think I'm not going to do that. I'll just add in a book cut here. So currently we have two, and I would fill this extra this two. Now something else: the mirror modifier. And need to make sure clipping is turned on. So once they meet, they snap together. Yeah, create that clipping is turned on. So once they meet, they snap together. Yeah, create that center face. And I'll do the same thing for this extra this. So if I select this and this and press F, yeah, it should fill it. So uh, just try to move stuff into place and now something else I notice is just now the shading of this is looking off like you can notice this kind of dark color here that's because the normal or the direction of this is if I, if I turn on this uh, where is that let me go back to object mode if I turn on face orientation yeah you notice the face is red and the front facing the front part of the face should be blue while the back side of the face should be red so if I select this, okay, let me turn this off now. Turn off face orientation. Go into edit mode and then select it and press shift N. So we calculate. I think it's not working, so I'll just click on this inside. Yeah, to flip the direction of the face around. And that should fix that weird shading issue we have. 
a loop that goes around that compasses the both eyes together. So to do that, I'll just extrude this downward first and then go ahead and start case side. Just click control and click to extrude this out also. And I'll do that all the way around around the eyes here. So currently it does not match I'll just select and place till I'm satisfied. Yes. So once I'm satisfied, I will first fill out the first four face. I select the first four vertex and fill it out. Then select the edge and F to fill it all around the face. Yeah. So currently, I'm thinking I'll break this uh, video into parts because it will be a bit too long to pull along. So now uh, that's for the eyes and I would also use a similar method for the mouth. So, uh, so for the mouth, I would start by adding in, okay, no, now uh, with this uh, snapping option enabled if I deselect everything currently, no vertex is selected and I just hold down control and right click on anywhere to add in new um, vertex. So I would extrude this to join at the center and just to create a crease here in the mouth that's one institution two institution so ideally if you are sculpting a character mouth currently this mouth is actually posed in a particular way but it won't be yeah it won't always be posed so yeah most of the time when you, uh, a character needs to upload this character probably needs to post pose for animation and all but i'm just using this for uh, illustration and yeah it's necessary to, to uh, it apologizes characters that are not even though it's not foundation because it usually helps for texturing baking and all so definitely apologizing is a very very important process to create like a believable character yeah so i think these two needs to merge here so now if you want to be able to see your that this is better one thing you can do is turn on x-ray so if you get to toggle x-ray yeah now you can see each of the vertex better and some other thing that, since I love to do is first of all increase this x ray up the way to one so you can see your stuff better and still see the vertices. And another thing to turn on black paste color. Yeah, so once I'm like this, I can't see the faces behind this here. So something else you can also do first you can also do if you're having issues seeing this is changing this from objects to random good space. So they would have different color the topologized mesh will have a different color from the initial mesh. Or you could also just add in the material and give it a, a viewport color. So uh, yeah, that's the first loop around the mount. Next thing is to create another loop. So extrude this and click F1. So so you notice I'm trying to match the initial that six or that is created next to this so right here then select this four and f to create a face select it and continue filling it in f and f now that i've gotten to this point i still need to extract this this remember i trying to create create a loop even though the upper lips are not really visible out still kind of yeah make it a bit tight other area select this and F to fill select this F F so yeah so now after adding this loop if you press ctrl R to add an edge loop and this is good all the way through yeah I think I just, I'll need to add one here in order to be able to keep this curvature so same thing with the eyes if you press ctrl R you can set an edge loop go all the way around this part one goes here one goes here yeah so there are specific areas edge loop go around while uh, it apologizes so yeah let me create the loop that, go all, that goes all the way around the nose and the mouth together before uh, bringing this video to an end. So I will extrude this out. Now holding down control, let me bring this a bit inward. Uh, bring this downward. So with this holding down control, I'll click to create one loop here. Click again to create another loop that will join with this, and uh, yeah, I think I will work with those two for now. F and F to fill. 
yeah so now i want to enable project individual elements and now let me explain what this does for now i'll turn off the uh shrink wrap modifier so with this uh and let me turn off the subdivision so with this individual element yeah let me explain something now if i turn this off and i exclude currently it's snapping just one of the face which is uh, this one here because uh, usually the last selected face is, face is usually snaps but if i turn on project individual element it snaps the both of them if i move rotate or scale yeah you notice the both of them stick to the face so yeah that's the main uh, reason why i enable this project individual element. but now with this project individual element it does not snap to where the cursor is it just snaps like just like normal moving uh, stuff so it does not follow the uh, cursor but without it it snaps to wherever the cursor goes so i will turn this back on and turn this back on so and create a loop that goes all the way around the around the nose and the mouth so through this so now after getting here i want to make sure i match this i match uh, this vertex all the way around so create one for this part and all right so uh now like i said i'm matching this point with uh, this vertex vertex is okay so i'll just rotate this extrude one more to match with this so i'll just rotate it again extrude that's match with this extrude to match with this and extrude one more time to close this yeah so currently i have something like this so uh yeah i'll just fill these faces right here off and i think i'll end this video yeah this one. so just select this and this and f to fill okay so i don't know why that is inverse and shift n to recalculate normals and let me try filling it select this select this select this four and press f it's kind of what's going on so So this should work okay for now let me start by filling this in and filling this in and filling this yeah I don't know why it doesn't work in the other time so yeah so just select this and f f f to fill this all the way through and i'm going to stop here for now and add a loop cut yeah so uh i think this year i would end the video in uh, subsequent video i will uh, continue the other parts of the face so yeah see you in the next video